Now this, uh, 16, at latest count, 16 attorneys general have written a letter to President Trump opposing the executive order on immigration. Joining us now is Pam Bondi. She is the attorney general for the great state of Florida. She is not one of those 16. Why are you not one of the 16, Madam Attorney General? Good morning, Stuart. Um, well, I firmly believe in the president's executive order. We all knew this was coming, and we have to remember, this isn't a ban on religion. We all agree, all attorneys general, we agree on religious liberty in our country and in our world. This is about radical terrorists. And the seven countries that the president chose were not chosen by him. They were once flagged by the previous administration, Iraq, Iran, Sudan, Somalia. Um, Syria, Libya, and the one I want to talk about because I know we want to get to human trafficking though is Yemen. Look at Yemen. Look what just happened. President Trump just issued air, an airstrike in Yemen because and took out 14 Al Qaeda members. That had been approved by President Obama, but carried out by President Trump. And our prayers go out to the well, SEAL Team Six member who lost his life. But that shows what's happening in Yemen and why Yemen is on that list. Okay. This is a temporary but, ban, but, temporary, until we can get better security measures in place. The implementation of this executive order surely leaves something to be desired. Authorities at the major airports around the country, they didn't know who to let in, who to keep out. They did not know. That was poor implementation. I think you'd agree with that. I think everyone would. I think there were, what, about 109 folks that got caught up in the middle of this, over 300,000 um, people. But yeah, about 109 folks. I think that's straightened out now. The part with visas is straightened out. The part with green cards is straightened out. Um, and again, to quote um, President Clinton in 1995, mm -hmm. we are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. And look what's happened since 95. And again, this is a temporary ban. Robert Gates, who was President Obama's obviously, um, national security director. He agrees with this. But we, yeah, we have to take great caution. President Trump has said, of course, he shows compassion to our immigrants. Our, um, and we okay. need to get them here, but um, we need to get them here the right way where they're safe and our priority for a country should be protecting America first uh, and helping Pam, these Pam Bondi, true immigrants. I, I, I want to get to, uh, I've got some breaking news, but, be, but first, I, I want to sure. draw your attention to this. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu <laughs> tweeted his support for yes. President Trump building the wall. He says Israel's wall has stopped illegal immigration. I believe you are also a supporter of building the wall. Is that correct? I am, and I've been to Israel twice. I've seen that wall. That wall works. Um, and, and here's why, too. You know, don't forget this war on drugs that we're all fighting as attorneys general throughout our country. And if you think about it, Heroin is our newest epidemic. It's being manufactured in Asia, but of course coming in through the traditional smuggling route of Mexico. Hmm. And so if we can stop one child from overdosing from heroin, which is a plaguing our entire country now, that wall is worth it, as well um, as human trafficking. And Stuart, it's Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and that's one thing I wanted to tell everybody. Okay. Um, um, Pam, you I'm, can so, I'm stop sorry, I have to. Please, uh, I, I've got to.